All right, and part four of this video, I'm going to talk about uh, how you can share your form uh, with somebody else, either for people to complete your form, let's say you're a teacher and you want to send it out to your students, or, their, or the student's parents, or you're an administrator and you want to send it out to your staff or parents. I'm going to show you how to do that, and also how to share the form with somebody else who perhaps could edit the form with you. So first thing, so let's go ahead and go back to the preview and click preview. Once again, it's going to show us what the live form looks like. So I get my sample form, the name, the type of food. I've got my picture of the Twitter handle and that. So let's go ahead and fill this out. Let's say that this is Joe Jones and Joe also likes Mexican food and Joe's Twitter handle is Joe Jones one two three and we'll click submit once again if I go back to the spreadsheet and wait for a moment there we go and remember we didn't have that before so that's why those are blank but you can see that it is virtually uh, live updates and I can go back to the actual form remember and click responses now and it shows I'm on two of three that was talking about Sally and if I kinda click down here it shows me Joe Jones what he said and what his uh, Twitter handle is now let's say I'm ready and I want to send this out couple of different ways to do it uh, the first one is to go back to the live form that we had here and just select this so you can kind of select that long ugly URL and you can do a control C or a command C and copy that and then you could email it to uh, whoever you wanted to do that email it tweet it if you have a URL shortener so you can see right here I have a Chrome extension a goo.gl URL shortener and if I highlight that and then click this it actually gives me even a shorter URL that's much easier than the long ugly one that you can see here so now I have something that looks I could actually highlight that and copy it and paste it into an email so that's for in my opinion that's the easiest way to do it but if I go back to the form I could also click the send button if I click send I can send it via email by doing this here or if I click the link here if I click that it's going to give me that link and then again I can just uh, select that Control C or Command C on a Mac, copy that and paste it uh, into an email or tweet or Facebook or wherever I wanted to uh, distribute that. You also have the buttons here on social media outlets that you can do that. Um, so, but again, I think that just going in the actual form and copying that is the fastest way to do it. Now, let's say you want to have someone share this form with you. If I wanted to give somebody else access to this form, so perhaps they wanted to edit, or I started the form, but I want them to finish it. If you go up to these three bars here and click the more, you're going to get a lot more choices here. And if I click add collaborators, I'm going to get a window that looks like this. So right now you can see that I am the only one who has access to this form. But let's say I wanted to invite someone else. If I wanted to invite people, I could go in here and I could enter their Google account, their Gmail address more than likely, their address. So if I wanted my friend John to have a, uh, access to this form, I could go ahead and enter his email here and then I would have the choice. I could give him edit access or um, well, on a form, it's just going to be edit access. On a different kind of document, you might give them view only access. But in this case, I want him to be able to edit. And then I would click send, and he would get a notification that he is now uh, a contributor to this doc. And when I was done, um, I would go down. Let me make this a little smaller. And, whoops, having a hard time. Make it a little smaller again. Oops. Well, I would click send. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and click cancel. Oh, and there's the done button. So I'd click 
um, when I, once I was put that in there, I would click done, and there I go. I'm going to make this bigger again. So that is how you can share um, with somebody else. Once again, this is just a very uh, bird's eye view of the new Google Forms. If you prefer the old forms, once again, you can always go down excuse me, to the little running man here. It'll take you back to the old forms. And I have the other set of videos that have even more specifics on some add-ons and things that you can put into your forms and the corresponding spreadsheet. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.